This here is a miniature V8 engine that runs and behaves like a full-size V8 engine. It's 78 cc's and runs on gasoline, and it's a lot larger than the 28 cc V8 engine I previously showed on my channel. I wanna use this engine for some crazy projects, but first, I wanna test it and make sure it's actually worthy. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I like pushing things to the extreme. So let's get pushing this engine to the extreme. And I just wanna let you know, I do these engine videos for you. Let's go. This engine is an absolute beast. It has dual carburetors, a full ignition system. This is a true dual overhead cam engine. Wansu V8 Engmore from Engine DIY. It also has a external water pump and it holds oil in the oil pan. Does not run on two cycle. It runs on straight gasoline. I like the fact that this has chainsaw carburetors. Out with the old and with the new. Let's get this thing started. See if it lives up to all the hype. Unlike the other V8s before it, this one actually uses oil. 50 milliliters of 20W50. Additionally, it has, see that little oil sight glass right there? An oil pan and a drain plug if you wanna change the oil after you get about 5,000 miles. This is the ground for the ignition system. So when you turn this, the engine cranks over. This is our ignition box. And it's as easy as that. I wish it was this easy in a real car. We're just gonna give it some gas. Oh, got gas coming out. We have oil, we have coolant, we have gasoline, we got spark. Now let's get this thing started and see if it actually runs. I think I gotta prime this somehow. I'm looking for it right there. Just need a little bit. There we go, that should start it. Whoa, I heard it, did you hear it? Come on, baby. Get some more starting fluid in there. Let's go! I ate up about two thirds of the tank, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Let me start it back up. Let me try to get this started again. test went pretty well so i went ahead and cleaned up the table hooked up a coolant reservoir the radiator a power supply for the ignition and a fuel tank that holds about two gallons of gas originally i was going to break in this engine but i'm having some ignition problems so i can't do that i'm just going to jump right into the maximum rpm test i'm going to hook up the tachometer start the engine up let it warm up and just go full throttle and see what the maximum rpm is let's go I'll have a new problem. I had the engine warmed up, running, and then I went to go do the full throttle run. It just died out. The carburetors won't hold gas. They just don't fill up. Let's open them up and see what's going on inside. I got the whole carburetor apart. Maybe a little bit of dust or something got in there and it's keeping it from sealing. I'm gonna clean all this up, throw it back together, and then after this run, I'm gonna throw these carburetors in the trash and swap it out with something better. It's all fixed, let's go. Let's see if we can do this.
That's it. Wow, that was so impressive. Not really. I mean, the engine is really good, but I think personally the ignition system is weak. That's what's inside the distributor. And this little contact plate right here. So it sparks and then it sparks again, bridges the gap in between the plate and the distributor point right here. And the carburetors are weak, but the good news is I think the engine is good enough mechanically to use for my next project. I'll probably do one more video though where I set this engine up the way that I think it should be set up. I think it's gonna surprise you what I'm gonna do next. At that point, we'll be hitting the mechanical limits of the engine. So I'll make sure I have a backup engine or some parts because once we do that, more than likely the engine's gonna blow. but at least we'll know the maximum RPM that this engine can handle. The reason I do these engine videos is simply because I know they inspire people and people really like them. In this case, I do have some creative ideas where I'm gonna use it for a really unexpected and insane project in the next video. Thanks for watching. I just got back on YouTube and I have a bunch of crazy stuff in the works. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always curious to hear what everybody thinks. See you in the next video.